My bags are officially packed and okay listen before you guys hate I have to explain this packing situation okay this pink bag is my personal bag this huge massive red one is my kit so that doesn't count that's all work stuff I would not be bringing that if I didn't have clients this weekend the pink suitcase is all of my personal items and then in my little cart which I love so much and if you guys live in an apartment you should definitely get one they're not that expensive I think I got it for like 30 40 bucks from Target or something like that and it has just been so helpful to get all of my groceries inside or whenever I'm going on trips and I'm bringing multiple bags Bags, stuff like that to just wheel up and down in that cart one of the bags has all of my shoes because I'm wearing like combat boots and cowboy boots and stuff like that that take up a lot of room so I just threw them in that bag and I think I threw my snacks in there as well and then the other pink tote bag has like my laptop my computer items my vlog camera my iPad all of that type of stuff so again it's for work so it cancels out so technically I have two bags okay my shoes and my suitcase I text my friend Jess because Jess is very minimal whenever it comes to packing she can go on like a week-long trip and only bring a backpack I don't know how she does it and I'll admit I'm an overpacker obviously like I don't even need to say that we all already know that I don't think I've ever been on a flight and didn't have to pay the over fee for the baggage but I literally sent her a photo and I was like you're gonna be ashamed that you know me this weekend with how much I'm packing and she was like oh god and I sent her a photo and she was like my friend has a problem but I'm like I know I know I have a problem okay but none of my friends have an issue with it whenever they forgot their sunscreen or need Advil or vitamin C or whatever it is because I am the mother of the trip whenever it comes to overpacking and having every Every little necessity and emergency item that you could possibly think of I need to go and pick up my revolve wristband and then my wristband for neon carnival but I'm so hungry and I haven't ate yet today so I'm actually just gonna run through the drive through at in and out really quickly oh my god I love your clothes. oh thank you can I do a double cheeseburger plain protein style the last few weeks I've been trying to eat healthier and I've been working out and being more active and stuff like that I'm so happy because I haven't really noticed that much of a change in my body yet maybe a little tiny bit I personally don't like to weigh myself whatsoever because I just don't think it's good for me mentally. Some people don't get affected by a number on the scale, but I personally do. I find that whenever I'm not weighing myself on a scale, I feel like it's kind of just out of sight, out of mind. And I kind of just go off of how I feel and what my body is telling me and stuff like that versus a number on the scale defining how I look or how I see myself or anything like that, if that makes sense. I've gone through phases where I'll weigh myself and I feel like anytime I'm in one of those phases, I become addicted to the scale and it's like every single morning after every every meal before I go to bed I constantly want to weigh myself and see if I'm fluctuating up or down or anything like that I just become so attached and I never want to be attached to a number on the scale to kind of compare my self-worth or how I view myself or anything like that so I try not to weigh myself whatsoever so honestly I couldn't tell you if I've lost weight or not I feel like whenever I look in the mirror right now I can see a little bit of a difference and I'm definitely happier with my body right now but haven't really had confirmation of that if that makes sense so I've been eating healthier for the last few weeks but my last video whenever I posted prep for Coachella a few of you guys actually commented and noticed that I lost some weight and that just made me feel really good and it's funny because morning I actually woke up and all I wanted to do was eat bread and I wanted pasta and just all kinds of foods that are really carby right after that I was about to cave I was literally looking through Postmates trying to see what I wanted to order and I was gonna be naughty and then a notification popped up from one of you guys and you guys were like oh my god you look so good I can definitely tell you've lost weight and I'm like I can't go and order this pasta now. It just feels good to be reassured sometimes whenever you're working really hard at something. And listen, I know I'm in the in and out line right now, but I am doing protein style. I personally don't do well just going so, so, so healthy and so clean and cutting out absolutely everything. I feel like I do better in moderation and I'm still eating the foods that I like, but I'm modifying to make them a little healthier. So I'm eating my burger protein style or I'll still get Chick-fil-A. I'll get the grilled nuggets instead of the fried nuggets. I'm just making little simple modifications that are making a difference and I can definitely see it happening as well wristband secured I just got back home a little bit ago I ate a quick lunch and then I have everything ready to go so I'm gonna go load up the car right now and then I know I should probably head out but for some reason I just keep procrastinating and traffic is so bad right now and it's just gonna get worse so I'm like I know I should just head out earlier than later but for some reason I just cannot get myself to get back in the car and drive there I don't know oh I left my house went and got a case of water from Ralph ran to the gas station and filled up my tank and then I guess whenever I was putting the waters in my car or filling up my tank or something I hit my back tire and it got my pants so black so I'm running back home to change because that just really bothers me to look at right now we're not even five minutes into this journey and we're already having issues so 
It also kind of works out though because literally I'm not even kidding the second I was pulling out of my house a package got dropped off I could see on the ring camera so this works out better anyway so that I can put my package inside really quickly but I really hate that this is setting the tone to the trip and I hope that the rest of the trip is completely uphill from here. It's 5 30 so I've been on the road for about an hour and a half now and I had to make a quick little pit stop because I was passing Raisin Cane's and I just literally could not help myself. I've been doing really good eating healthy but that toast was just calling my oh my god you guys. I think this is one of the best pieces of toast I've seen from Cane's. I said what I said. I just got done getting ready. I actually made this hat and it came out really good. I'm very proud of it. And then I just have this black dress on. I found this little fringe rhinestone belt as well, which I'm obsessed with. Guess who's coming out today? Daniel Caesar, he's coming out. Yes, Bieber is. No! No! I'm so happy. Dude, Are you kidding me? I swear. I'm literally so happy. I'm literally so happy. Oh! Baby. The party has arrived. Woo! Drunk in the desert. What we about love you? To see it. I'm like, how did Alexis one look this hot? Two, glam, four, plus seven a.m. and then vlogging. This is my third clip of the day. So hard to vlog it's when you're so like wasted. Hard. I will suck his egg for an artist house in the next 30 <laughs> Hey y'all. So here we are. Up, where's your cup? Oh, I, I got my makeup done and it was all right. And then Alexis, Alexis, if I did really quick and now I feel great. Hey. I left. And I love her. That's all, all you guys. Is. First Coachella. Did you guys like my fit? <laughs> I don't think Tana's ever yeah, picked up a Tana guys come hang out. Cheers, Cheers to love. Cheers to honor. If you can come, come honor. Honor. Come on. Honor. Hey vlog! We are getting ready to go to the Revolve party today and I'm so excited because we think Post Malone's coming out. And he is coming out. He posted on his Instagram! Post Malone is officially coming out. You heard it here oh. first. This is hey Austin. Today. Hey Austin. Who the hell is Austin? Post Malone. <laughs> hey Coachella! I'm so excited. I've never been to the Revolve Coachella parties and I feel oh, like yeah. it's gonna be... <laughs> Okay, we get it. You've been before, bitch. Wait, I thought you did go last year. No, no right. I've never been invited. The Super Bowl party was the first, mm. first thing I ever got invited to. It's shot o'clock, baby. Jess, will you come do half the shot with me? I feel like maybe these are my new shot glasses from now on. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm scared we're not going to be able to get to this festival. <laughs> Cheers, baby. <laughs> you guys look crazy. Wait, though. We love you, Revolve. We just got dropped off at Revolve Fest. Let's go, girls. You guys, Harry brought out Shania Twain last night and I missed it. I literally left before and she sang, Do the one I love, and let's go, girls. I was so oh. upset. Trying to be pentatonic right now and do a little acapella moment. The lighting is so fun. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> We should not be here right now. We're in front of all these Insta baddies and we're over here being pentatonic sound crackers. Sweating. Oh, the fuck. Are we not VIP? Do they know who we're dating? Like, do they know who our boyfriends are? Uncle Cracker. I feel so dusty. Dream edible rotation. Who are you picking? Five people. Family two people. Who's that? Has his own, like, pasta show. Okay. Four more. That's your first pick? We just got to Revolve Fest and this is so sick. It looks so cool. Yeah. Love you, Revolve! Just got some of the daring chicken nuggets. Sticky, no chicky noodles. <laughs> Kinda good though, I'm impressed. Getting whipped coffee. I'm so excited during quarantine I was making whipped coffee a lot. And I don't think that I was making it the right way so I'm curious to see how it like is supposed to taste. I really gotta stir it. Yo, fucking party makes a noise. 
we just got done at the Revolve party and it was so much fun. They had a lot of really good performers and there was so many like cool food and drink carts and everything. Now the shuttle just dropped us off. We're calling it Cooper to go back to the house really quick, clean up, and then we're gonna go to the nest, which is apparently the most popular bar out here in Palm Springs. So gonna hopefully find a boyfriend for the night.